Howdy friends, welcome to the Blue Heart Biker Channel. All right. It's been a while since I've seen you. I missed last Tuesday again because of course you've been busy. I've been busy, excuse me. And I don't want to get all into what I've been doing, but because we got stuff to do today. We got some good stuff today. We got surprises here and my friend, uh, Carol over here, you know Carol and you know Mike, they've been on the, Carol bought the Hydroglide, yes. So this is the Hydroglide that was in the episode, uh, la my last episode, yep. and you bought it the next day. Yep. Yeah, so what, what, what's, tell us the story and tell us a little bit about it and tell us how you like it and the whole nine yards. Well, you know, like so many things in my life, I didn't plan on buying a Harley Davidson. Or <laughs> That's how I ended up with my Sportster. Uh -huh. um, and uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll just keep riding that that Sportster. But um, yeah, we saw her on the showroom, and it, it was pretty much over from yeah. that, from that yeah. point. And um, I was look like I said, I said a few minutes ago, I was looking at the Icon series last year, and I just couldn't make that that pretty bike happen. But we were able uh, to make this one happen and i love this bike i mean she handles so well yeah i wished i had learned on this instead of that sportster because i've been wrestling the front end of that sportster for two years yeah. you know and i loved yep. the sportster she was fun you yep. know she was a mean little bike yep. but um this bike feels actually lighter yeah easier to handle yeah uh a lot a lot better ride so much more smoother um a lot more comfortable so uh, we named her Leona. Leona. After my uh, grandmother was my my mom's mother, and Leona was kind of scandalous. She been, was married, and divorced many many times, uh -oh. and um, she she just liked to party. She liked to have fun. She was a real just a great gal. Um, her nickname was Granny Glitz because she was always made up. Uh -huh. Always, you know, I never saw her without her makeup. You know. Yeah. And um, after she passed away. I got all, most of her stuff and I found photos where she had posed back in the 1940s uh -huh. <laughs> in lingerie, which was pretty scandalous back then. And yeah. I thought, and every car she ever owned was mm -hmm. red. She uh -huh. had a red Riviera, she had a red Cadillac, she had a red Dodge Monaco. And I was like, this is Leona. <laughs> this is Leona right here, everybody. Wow. Flashy and uh, wanting attention. Yeah, and this is 760 of 1750. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so this is the revival of the 48 pan head. Right. Which was, uh, that's the hydros because they went to this kind of front end. Right, right. The, the, the previous had the Springer front yep. end. Um, so that's, that's where the hydro. Which is really from. cool that they made this a hydroglide because it's uh, um, the hydroglide had a hydraulic front end, but it was still on a hardtail frame. And this, you know, the soft tail frame looks like a hard tail frame. So this was the perfect, the perfect one to do it, do it with. It's got a nice cream and evil air filter on yeah. it. Yeah. We're going to, it kind of sounds like a sewing machine. So uh -huh. we're going to, we're going to get gonna some gonna pipe it out a little bit. We're going to pipe it out a little bit. Get some slip yeah. ons on there as soon as yeah. we can. And, uh, but other than that, she's perfect just the way she is. Yeah, boy, it's beautiful. I, I know I did a whole thing on this, this very bike the other day. And then Mike over here. He left a comment saying, my wife's buying that bike. And you know what? I knew you were serious. I knew there was something serious about that. Yeah. But she's great. She's got cruise control. Cruise That's control. Awesome. How do you like the cruise control? The ABS. Honestly, I haven't even tried it yet. Yeah, yeah. And the <laughs> a ABS is nice. I could have used that a couple times on the way over here. So we're getting ready to take a long trip up the coast. In the, nice. In the May. We're going to be gone for about seven or eight days. So nice. I'm thinking that cruise control is going to come in pretty handy. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just excited. Uh, he can't keep me home because I just want to be on the bike. <laughs> he comes home from work and in the evening he's tired. I'm like, I want to go for a ride. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go for a ride. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'd want to go too. Man, this thing is just amazing. And uh, um, how many miles you got on it? I don't even know. Not quite. Close to two. Fourteen thousand. <laughs> One hundred and seventy-six. Wow. Yeah. Man, that is really nice. Still breaking it in. I think it had no miles on it when when, when you got it because yeah. I don't think it. I think. Uh, it, it didn't yeah. even sit on the showroom for twenty-four hours because we were there yeah. a 
went out Friday. We were there Saturday morning. Yeah. And I sat on it, and the or the club, you know, the hog yeah. club was there, and they were all like, "Oh, that's you, that's you, that's you." And I'm like, "Yes, that's me, that's me, that's me." <laughs> well, you know, this I I looked at this bike on Thursday, and they weren't going to put it out on the showroom until Friday or Saturday, yeah. and uh, so when I saw it, it wasn't out on the showroom yet. It was uh, it was he. In fact, he had just put he put the windshield on it for me. Yeah. You know. So, so that I could get a good look at it. Yeah, I but think we're going to trim the windshield down just a bit because I yeah. look right through it. Uh -huh. and I don't really like that. And yeah. then we did, I don't know if you noticed, we got white walls on it. Yes, I heard that. You got the white walls. You, yeah. you, 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 so you we heard were white able, walls for it. There was brand new tires on there. It was pretty much an even swap on that. It looks and better with white walls. Oh, yeah. Oh, much better. Yeah. I, I told my husband, hey, we got to do that. We got to yeah. make it happen. <laughs> And then yeah. we bought the we bought some guards really quick, so we went right home and oh yeah, and put those on and he pulled it down the street for me and I was a little worried, you know, because it's like 165 pounds heavier than that Sportster. Yeah. But I was like, you know, I just got to rip this Band-Aid off and I just jumped on her and took off and went did a circle around the block and I'm like, I got this. <laughs> well, you know, this bike I noticed when I sat on this bike, it's incredibly. I mean, I I know it, they they say it's no different than a Heritage Softail. But it, it was incredibly, it felt incredibly balanced and it felt really light, you know? Yeah. And, and I noticed that with this beast over here, um, it, it, in my Sportster, my Sportster, when you described how the front end of your Sportster was, that's exactly how my Sportster feels. And my Sportster felt heavier than this bike. You know, and this bike's much heavier, but you know, um, I, I think it's just kind of how it, the weight's distributed on it. But this bike felt extremely light and really balanced when I sat on it, you yeah, know. It but it's a different frame than this. These are a different frame. They've changed the, the soft tail frame from, from this in 2017. Okay. Because this is much lighter. It feels lighter than my 06 uh, Heritage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had a Her 06, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, this is, you know, the um, on this, I believe the shock is here now. Right, yeah, under the seat. But, but on ours, it was under here. Right. On ours, it's, it was two underneath. Two underneath, this yeah. This is just one under This the is seat. one. And I think that the, the frame itself is shorter. Yeah, I think the frame itself is a little bit shorter. I couldn't pick up his soft tail. When yeah. I stood on it, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. get it up. This one, I got to get it right up. Yeah, I noticed this was incredibly balanced and and it's real light and and uh and then you 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 got this not long ago we did an uh uh episode about this bike yes. and so how do you dig in this i love it yeah it's been a year already it's been a year it doesn't seem like that long but i absolutely love it yeah yeah added the tour pack since yeah the last yeah time. added the tour pack on there and so she and, put all her stuff in there yeah now she got now new I got, bikes. Yeah. Now you got yeah yeah i put my whole purse in here <laughs> yeah i know it a sack of groceries <laughs> you don't realize how you need those bags you they, they really come in handy and those are gorgeous bags they're really pretty i mean it's really this bike is just fantastic yeah so i guess the 48 if you go look at old pictures they had this yeah these conchos this kind of detailing all came off that yeah. original 48 that uh, the shield is what came off yeah and and this yep and I bought one of those. I bought uh, one of those at the swap meet, uh, an old uh, uh, air cleaner cover like that, and put it on my night train. I like how nothing's on it; it's just blank. Yeah, just it's like plain. No, uh, no, no engine size, engine size or nothing. Yeah. It's a 114, yeah. by the way. What I really liked about it, and I didn't notice this until I did my video, is this thing right here, man. This thing's cool. That little oh, yeah. seat holder there. You know, they all have them, but this one is like, you know, it's it like them old timer ones. It adds that nice little. Yeah. And the bag's even locked, which is nice. Yeah. I love having a fob too. It's just stick in my pocket and yeah. I don't have to worry about yeah. anything. Turning the gas on. Or was yours, was yours, uh, did yours have a carburetor or your Sportster was, your Sportster was fuel injected, yeah. huh? Yeah. 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 In fact, I was so glad at the very last minute because I was trying to sell it. And as you know, the market really yeah. stinks right now. And uh, so I kept lowering the price, lowering the price, because I really wanted to sell it as opposed to trade right. value. 
and at the very last minute, because we were sitting in the office at Matthews and we had just given up and said, fine, we're just gonna have to trade it in. My friend texts me, she says, do you sell your bike yet? And I said, no, she goes, don't, I want it. And I said, well, you better get down here. And she did, she came and got it. Wow. Matthews has a, what's it called? A rider to rider program. Yeah. So basically they bought the bike for me and she bought it from them. So they took care of the whole transaction. She wow. walked out with her pink slip that day. Yeah. Wow. No extra charge. No extra charge. No extra charge. So you didn't have to go through like a trade-in price. Yeah. You got what you wanted for it. Yep. Wow. Got what I wanted for it. Yeah. So it worked out perfect. Yeah. And, the, and then the lady that bought it from me, she's been asking me to sell it to her for over a year. She really yeah. wanted the bike. Yeah. She has an old, like, 90s Sportster with mm -hmm. the smaller tank. And yeah. it doesn't have some of the bells and whistles that my newer Sportster had. So she's in she's in heaven. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a pretty cool bike. I think sounded mean, too. She did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> that was a neighbor yeah. hater right yep, there. Yep. <laughs> yeah wow well that's that's just amazing you guys it's amazing you guys got both got some pretty awesome bikes out here now I'm pretty happy i can keep yeah. up with will i can more than keep up yeah. with him oh, now yeah. yeah i can keep up with everybody now yeah you sure can without you know vibrating my head off trying to yeah up. what's what's yours 107. You're, so she's got a bigger bike than you do yeah. <laughs> just a little just a little bit just uh a little. yeah Upgrade. We'll just get him one of those. One, what is it? I'm one? Gonna get the 135 crate. There you go. <laughs> I'm get him a 135 crate and stick on there. There you go. That's a wheelie bars. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Yeah, that's just really, really awesome. Congratulations. Thank this you is very just much. a. So. Loving it. What's it sound like? It sounds like a sewing machine. We'll fire it up. Let's hear this thing. <laughs> not, not for long though. Not for long. All new bikes sound like sewing machines. Sure That's California smog. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> Sounds like a choke down M8. Yeah, it does. The M8's got a, a little lower rumble to them, you know. Sounds good though. It does yeah, sound good. It sounds does sound sounds good. great. All right. Well, beautiful bike, you guys. Just beautiful. Thank you. And Carol, congratulations again. Congratulations again. And uh, um, happier. you guys are ready to ride now. And of course, Mike's on his one year on his road glide over here. And uh, you're loving it? Loving it. Absolutely yeah. loving it. Yep. Ride it every day. Good, good, good. Awesome, man. Well, what do you think? We take a little ride up the... We're going to Matthews Harley Davidson. Yeah, we have a meeting there. Today. And uh, so we're going to take a little ride up to Matthews now and uh, see how this thing looks on the road. And thank you guys um, thank you. For, uh, for sharing the bike. And I'm so glad you guys bought it. All right? All right. All right. Cool. Nice cool. All right. Well, let's, let's do it. Let's ride. Okay.
didn't pull over. He just, he got kind of stuck. He got pulled over. And then he, when he finally got in this lane, he got two cars behind me and then the red light hit. All right, guys, we'll see you, okay? I'm gonna head home. All right, you bet. Great bike, looks great. We'll have to go on a proper ride sometime. Yeah, I will, I definitely will. Yeah, look at these guys. I never saw their new car. Look at this. I just did an episode about her new bike. Oh, cool. oh. So I just followed him over here and I'm heading home. You're not going to go to the road captain meeting? Uh, no, I don't want to be a, nothing to do with being no road captain. <laughs> I like riding in the back, you know. <laughs> 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 the very last person is called the sweep. Oh, okay. And then they, they have certain responsibilities too that, we're gonna, that we talk about. Well, I, I want to be second to the last then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll see you guys, all right? All right. You guys have a good one, okay? You bet. friends I think I'm gonna wrap things up right now we're gonna head back to the house and uh, get ready for the weekend busy all weekend got playing music all weekend and again busy 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 I've been so busy just seems like I can't get anything done I get a bunch of stuff done and then more happens so eventually here we'll get it done 
My bike's a mess. This bike is just a mess. I'm ashamed of it. And, uh, I haven't been putting out my episodes like I should be, but I'm on, I'm getting back on track. Uh, anyhow, um, thanks for watching. If you could be so kind to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and hit the little bell, all right? It's going to let you know when I upload new content. The thumb lets the algorithms know that you dig me. It makes me feel pretty good about life as well. And, uh, yeah, that's all. Be sure you ride safe. And, uh, and I almost got smashed three times today. Uh, luckily, I was paying attention. And it was other people not paying attention. So, got to watch what you're doing all the time, friends. And uh, I think that's a record today for me. I, I, I usually don't get almost smashed more than one, one time. Sometimes not, not at all. But three times today, and that's short of a ride. You guys didn't see it because I wasn't filming when it happened, but it was on my way over to meet them. But it's always exciting when your friends get new bikes, and uh, I'm I'm really I'm really happy for them. So, and I'm happy for Carol. Carol, it's about time she got a new bike. She had that Sportster, which was a beautiful. Hey, how you doing? Three wheels on the ground. Beautiful Sportster, but uh, this is a an even more beautiful bike. So I'm excited for her. All right, then, friends, that's it. You guys be cool, stay safe, have a good time all the time, and we'll see you next time right here on the Blues Heart Biker Channel.